I was just scrolling on the Viscom Discord server to see what other designers do and I saw this image from the legendary Scott Robertson. I knew that he uses Viscom because he follows all the upcoming tools and I'm sure he's testing most of them. But seeing his words actively on the Discord really impressed me. I'm not so active on Discord myself but seeing all the other people's work there kind of gave me this sense of this community feeling. It's really cool to have this type of platform. So in this video we can scroll through together a couple of the designs, a couple of works done in collaboration of designers and the Viscom AI and maybe this would encourage you to upload your works to Discord server of Viscom. This way maybe in the next video, in another video, we can talk about your designs directly through the server. By the way, for some reason, if you don't know Scott Robertson, which I don't think so, he is the legend who wrote these two books. Wait a sec. This is one of them, how to render. And of course, before how to render, you need to learn how to draw. When I was a student, I was watching his YouTube videos and I was reading his books and I still see his works. Like whenever I see his works, I just, it still impresses me. He never gets outdated. Scott Robertson is a legend and seeing his works on the Viscom Discord server really inspired me. So here's a little shout out to him. And let's go, let's scroll some other works. So here on the Viscom Discord server, you can go under the showcase channel and you can upload your works. And Scoro is the Scott Robertson. We saw the first track, so here is another one. I mean, you know, his sketches, they're already amazing and detailed and so correct on the perspective and proportions and everything. So it's also a great point to actually say in this video because sometimes there's this question of, the AI is taking over the jobs and stuff, but you can see the outcome of a professional designer and an amateur designer difference. Like if you already know the basics of design, if you have experience on design, it is definitely visible on the outcomes of AI as well. So what I was saying is on his sketches already, you can feel the professionalism and amazing details and high quality sketches. So here on the outcome, I can say the same thing. It's just impressive results. And he didn't upload only once, there are some more, but let's go to top first. I want to go through together, like this Rick V, he does, he's very active, he does a lot of stuff I see, and it's very interesting. He shares the process sometimes, and he shares sometimes only the outcome, but I want to contact him to see how he uses it, because it's not car design, it's not transportation design, however, it's very interesting to see also other fields, how do they use, like for character design or some other objects. I want to hear from their experience as well. And this Pillow, Pilu, I don't know how to read it honestly, but he or she also is active on this server. I see their name a lot and pretty cool stuff. You can see tons of generated images and these are like spaceships and cars and some other vehicles, which is interesting for us, I believe. Like this one was quite interesting for me to see because the details of the material, like the leather, the wrinkles, the stitches and everything. I'm curious, like, how did he achieve to this level? And I really like also the composition, like the, the light coming from the other side and the reflections of the light. And so it's pretty cool stuff. And the good thing is you don't just share the image and done. You can also write the description of, like, what do you want to share with people? And you can even write an answer here. So it's very cool that it's an interactive area, interactive place for designers, for artists to talk about the works together. I'm just scrolling quickly to see like here from again from the same person we see different like uh, guns concept guns here so it's impressive for me to see that one person can do many different type of styles and different type of products let's say here is a car design and some boats we can see as you see you can even answer with the images like as I said maybe it's super basic thing but I'm not so active on discord so I didn't know that but it's pretty cool, like everybody can answer each other with images and here is a little GIF animation of some cars. And it's pretty cool. I I'm wondering which one is the original in input. Was it just a sketch or a render? I would like to see more like a step-by-step -step workflow as well. He used a bad mobile exploration. To me, this one feels a little bit more basic. Maybe it's just like a quick r uh, render, but I would like to see also a refined version of that as well. Again, another character, the Deadpool from Rick VN. It's pretty cool to me. I'm really curious. It's interesting to see other people, how they use Viscom. Honestly, I thought Viscom is purely for car design for a long time. Especially when it started, it started as car design, I believe. But now seeing all these other type of use cases really impresses me. 
Let's see some other cards, maybe. Here we go. By the way, really, on the Discord server, we don't have a lot of card designs, card designers or card design students, or in general, the card design outcome. So let's go. Let's put some card designs into this area to show the power of card design. Now, it's not a competition or anything, but I would like to see some more card design content here, honestly. Let's scroll down more to see more. For example, here again from the Rick, Rick V, some sketches, like maybe refined sketches. I'm not sure. Interesting, because I did something similar a couple of times by mistake. Like I uploaded my sketch and then rather than saying render, I hit refine and it refined my sketch. It was an interesting experience. So maybe that's how he did on this one. Here is another car, but this one is more like an anime style. Not like a car design style, I would say. Probably the cyber cell. Yeah, cyber cell is used. So you can see the different approach for different styles as well. Like this one seems super realistic, honestly. Let's click here. It looks like to me, Mid Journey generated images. So I'm not sure if these are from the sketches or from images and put it into Viscom. It's very interesting. Controlled car design workflow with persona and environments. So this is a video from Gergely. He is a very cool person who helps me also with the learning and using Viscom. So let's see the video here. Yeah, I, of course, I've seen this one before. He's using the generative field uh, in painting. So generative field is Photoshop. In painting tool mostly to select certain areas and then focusing on different parts of the car and the environment. Pretty cool results. Pretty cool workflow, I would say. By the way, if you are new to the channel, I'm working on an AI for car design course at the moment. It's only for pre-order right now, so you can go to barekaplan.com for more details. Honestly, there are not much details yet, but I'm working on a course to show how I use AI in general for my car design workflow. So let's continue. Let's see a couple more. We still didn't even reach to Scott Robertson, as you see, but he has more than one. And we are already like Viscom plus Blender. You know, I'm a fan of Blender. And I'm a fan of Viscom, so seeing someone else is doing the same workflow is pretty cool. And it's, I mean, it's not something unique because they both are super popular. And here, I guess he did like uh, projecting the image onto Blender and the image is generated in Viscom, I believe. So, okay, here are some more workflow. Okay, I will not go through step by step through this, but looks pretty cool already. Yeah, this outcome, I think, is from like the last image here is probably from the Viscom and playing with different settings to get more realistic outcomes. Pretty nice. Here's another car and more than just a car, like a car and robot combination is pretty cool style. I'm curious, it's or Technicolor or the Cyber Cell, I would say. Here's a Tesla from Jordan. Jordan is the co-founder of Viscom. Even he is active on this server. So if you have any questions about Viscom, it's also a good place to maybe ask and interact with the team of Viscom. Here we go. That's the first one I saw from Scott Robertson like 30 days ago. It's been actually a while, but I saw when I scrolled more like directly the next one is also from him. I remember seeing this on Instagram actually. Yeah. Look at this. It's, it's pretty cool. Unbelievable. Another one from Scott. And I can't feel that. It's like I can't feel the uh, the base sketch is also from him. It's it's pretty interesting. And seeing this variety of all these works is definitely impressive. Here's another car or truck. Kind of reminds me like a bit retro futuristic, I would say. Animatronic. It's also interesting. Kind of like a Hot Wheels concept, but a bit from like 90s, I would say. But pretty cool. Like this one is interesting because... The sketch, I mean, I don't know the owner of it, Monself. I see the first sketch is a little bit out of proportion, out of perspective, in my opinion. So the result is also visible that, like, it's not the same quality as the outputs of Scott Robertson. That's what I mean by it's important, the basics. It's important to experience uh, the designer approach. At the end, AI is just a tool and you can sense the difference of the process here, let's say. Cool. Oh, okay. I also saw this one before. Like the sketch is clean, not finished, not a lot of details, but I really like the result. It looks pretty cool. I can imagine there are some Photoshop um, touch after the Viscom generation, but still pretty cool. And here is some interior, some cluster <laughs> concepts. 
When I tried interior design myself a while ago, I realized it was a bit confused. But I need to do another interior design attempt with Viscon. You can see the steering wheel, but going around the cluster area. So it's pretty interesting. It's, it's good for inspiration for sure. And also, this is from December 2023. Viscom got a couple of updates since then. And there are some other updates coming, as I know. So I'm definitely planning to test some interior designs for my upcoming course as well. But look at this. It's pretty cool stuff. Again, from the same person, I think. Yeah, Rick V. Like, he, I mean, I'm saying he, but I don't actually know. So maybe she or he does amazing stuff here on, on this channel for sure. Hmm. This one is also interesting. Like, napkin doodle to this result. It's unbelievable. And again, Scott Robertson. I can, again, feel, maybe because of I read his books and I know his style for years. I can definitely feel that. Because on how to render book... Also, he talks about real life examples of materials, like different reflections, different textures of different type of paints, again, different type of materials. And I can see here, I don't know if he did like by selecting each area or maybe the prompt he wrote, how did he made it? But he really can show his own style, his own approach on this outcome. This it's really impressive stuff. Here is another one, another cool, interesting work by Scott Robertson and look at this all right I think I don't want to go like scroll through the end because I don't know where it even ends if it ever ends so you can also go check Viscom discord channel discord server and share your works maybe later I will do another video and I will focus more on car design part so if you share your works there it is also a chance to be visible on the next video of maybe discord go through type of video I use the word video a lot but I also get questions about when I will comment on my subscribers designs because I did like 10 episodes before and I'm planning to do another one hopefully soon fingers crossed oh wait a second when I just look at the, this way look at this and again from Scott Robertson, I think he was more active on that area, like on this times, like December. Wow. These are really cool concept shoes, aren't they? Anyway, I was saying that for this uh, subscribers video, you can send your works to backmydesign at gmail.com, but it's definitely easier on this Discord channel, Discord server of Viscom. This way we can also interact with each other you can see other people's comments and pretty cool place so let's put some more card design into there okay see you in the next video